here. Okay, so we have Okay, this whole this whole thing, if I say name this organ. Mm -hmm. Larynx. Okay, what is it? Larynx. This whole thing. Larynx. Larynx. Okay. If I'm pointing to this wide part of cartilage. Thyroid cartilage. Okay, so name this part of this organ. Name this structure. Or name this structure. Okay, we want something specific. So we want beyond larynx. We want more specific than larynx. Okay, so same thing with this. If I say name this organ. Trachea. Trachea. If I'm pointing to the rings and say name this part of this organ or name this structure. Cartilage ring. Cartilaginous rings. Okay, then behind the trachea you have this. Esophagus. Esophagus. Got it. Okay, so esophagus has no rings. It's smooth. And it's behind. Muscle okay. and Apple. yes. Where's Epiglottis. The what? Oh, the crick. Yeah. So, I mean, the cricoid is pretty small, but it's like, it's right here. It's uh, it's. I mean, I can feel it, but it doesn't look like much. Wait, what were you saying about the larynx? But I mean, this you can tell is a thyroid. She would ask the thyroid so if it's below it, it but that would be cricoid. Okay. Yeah, it would be cricoid if it's like right under this can big part. Can we see part. the epiglottis on that? Um, Maybe possibly okay. not on that one. Uh, uh, you gotta open it up. Yeah, I mean, I technically I could cut this. Uh, it's okay. Continue to go down. Okay, so uh, you may see on the test. Uh, I have seen this before, where this is removed. Okay, so this is out and you can see inside, mm -hmm. okay, and, and, and it's asking you for the epiglottis. So you're looking inside and you're going to see just like a little kind of tiny little tongue thing. That's okay? the only thing that can be identified? Yeah, if this is open and it's pointing to something inside this, then epiglottis. Okay, okay. so, um, all right, so these guys here. What are these? Liver? No. Oh, oh. Okay, people, do not confuse liver and lungs. Do not confuse okay. liver and lungs. Okay, got it wrong. Okay, lungs, okay, they're in the... They're not in the uh, abdominal cavity, they're in the thoracic cavity. Okay, uh, the, the bronchi, you know, we're not... I'm not gonna see that on here really. It's too hard to unless okay. it's like totally dissected out, but so pull the pull the heart out. Bronchi, would it be this side on the left side or the right side? It could be well, either. it could be either, but I've never really seen this dissected, so you could see it. Okay, okay so lungs do not confuse with liver. <laughs> okay, so there's your diaphragm, so it's it's separating your thoracic and your abdominal is that cavities. Where his thumb is? Yeah, that's yeah, well this is yeah, all this. Okay, so all of this is the liver. It's okay, I can wash my hand and pick okay, my nose and then I'll pick my nose afterward. Right here. Usually green, but sometimes not, but it's a little pouch. Uh-huh. It's within the liver. Okay. Okay. So gallbladder. Okay. Okay, so then if we go down here. Okay, we had our uh, esophagus. Okay. Esophagus goes down all the way down here. The so this is your right. stomach. That's your J shape there. Okay, so follow the stomach. So then you hit this, which is no longer the stomach. Okay, you Small can kind of tell where it's like okay. stops being the Small stomach. Intestine. Okay, so this. This is small all intestine. small intestine, and usually on the test, that's all uh, McCord wants you to put for if small it's just like that. Okay, small intestine. Got it. Um, he doesn't usually ask, he'll just put a pin in here and just ask for that, and this would be like large intestine, large intestine, basically. I mean, I say like potentially, like I, I, you could say rectum here. Rectum and also cecum. Is de de cecum is a definite oh, possibility. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, okay, so see all this was small intestine. Small intestine. Okay, you see how it looks different from this. Okay, so this is all the large intestine. Got it. So where the two connect, okay, you have this little pouch. So that's the cecum. That's the cecum. Now I have also seen on the test where this is cut open. 
-huh. And it's pointing at something inside. Ileocecal valve. Ileocecal valve. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That yeah, would be so tough. you could see that. So if this is cut open here, ileocecal. No, they don't have an appendix, cats. Okay? Okay, so um, if you look along the small intestine, okay. okay, so it's connected right, you know, at the, the beginning of the small intestine, you should see the pancreas, which is flat. It's um, usually a, a different color from the, the uh, small intestine, and it's got texture, okay? okay. It's got a, a glandular kind of texture, so it's a little bumpy. Mm -hmm. So if you look closely, you can see that. And it's actually pretty long. It goes, you know, all the way down here, and you can kind of see it. Sometimes it's, you know, more obvious on certain cats just because it's like a really different color or something. And it's but, just a spongy type thing, so when you... Yeah, when kind of. Dead, so all this is pancreas. Got it, okay. So just just be careful on the test because it sometimes it's not positioned as, you know, I would position it okay. and to make it more obvious. Okay, then the spleen is usually pretty big. Okay, and well, it basically looks like this. Well, open. Okay, so the spleen is kind of like its own thing. Mm -hmm. It's not like this where it's, you know, totally connecting to the, the small intestine here. So spleen, okay, it's usually kind of liver colored. Okay. Sometimes it's like really big. Sometimes it's a little bigger than that, mm -hmm. but this is, you know, like a pretty normal size. So all of that is connected, is going from the pancreas to the small intestines? What's that? Oh, what, you said this was the pancreas? All this is pancreas, okay. yeah. How about the super renal gland? What's that? Super renal gland? So okay, super right renal there. glands right here. Really small, huh? Yeah, and it's, you know, unlike on kidney. the humans, it's, it's not, not on top, on of, top the of the kidney. So it's this little part right there. It's this one here, and usually okay, this is the one we there. show because it's lower. The, the one on the other side is higher, and you usually level. kind of can't see it. Got it. Uh, it's like there. It's a little higher, but this one's easier to see. Um... Somewhere. Have, yeah. In my class, there, they ha there is one. Um, okay, hold on. All right, so for the intest, for the int yeah, if you cut open the kidney, I mean, you know, if it's pointing to the outer part versus the, the part that's so more inside. I hope it's a well, he might have that on there, but I mean, it's not that it's not that complicated. I think you can pick out medulla from cortex in, in the kidney. So it's either inside or outside, I would think. It's just like inside or outside. The I mean, yeah, if it's it's towards the you know the the edge, you know, it's going to be cortex, and if it's closer to the you know it doesn't look it's not all like in pyramids and stuff but you can you know you can tell them apart um, okay so for this uh, cecum or ileocecal valve those are um, possibilities. definite possibilities um, usually it's just you know large intestine um, if it's down here though I would put rectum um, but that's, you know, that's about the size of it for that. I wouldn't go into, like, they don't really have sigmoid colon and that kind of stuff. So seeking this between small and That's the bladder yep. right there. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Urinary bladder, not to be confused with the gallbladder. <laughs> okay. Where's the gallbladder? Oh, gallbladder right. the gallbladder. Oh, that's up there, the greenish right. color. Between the, in the, in the, in the liver. It's yeah. in the liver somewhere. Yeah, well, there's a male cat in my class. Someone has 